Hey guys, Sebastian here from Walgreens Vintage. In today's video, we'll be talking about this 1982 Marshall JCM 800. This is part of a large vintage collection that we just got into our gallery. So check out our website to find out what other gear we have in stock for you. This amp, it's an 82 JCM 800. It's pretty early as far as JCM 800 goes. I believe the first one's starting to ship uh, in the early 80s, 80, 81. Uh, so it's a really good representation of what those amps really were at the time. You know, the ones from this era are very desirable and this one is all original and in really, really good condition. It's a 50 water model, so you don't really get all that extra headroom that a lot of times you really don't need. And yeah, it's a fantastic sounding amp. So a bit of history about the Marshall JCM 800. This was basically a rebranded master volume model that Marshall designed in the mid 70s to basically satisfy the plexi players that wanted to get that classic Marshall distortion without the volume. So this new circuit allowed you to control the output volume and also to control the preamp gain. It was later uh, rebranded in the 80s, well, 1980 as the JCM 800. And here's when we saw this amp. Then little changes went on by and you know they added a bit more gain, changed a few parts here and there. For the, for the most part, the DNA of the amp stayed consistent. The layout is very simple. You have a presence, bass, mid, treble, mastered, and preamp volume. You know, you can really get a wide variety of gain tones out of this amp. If you really back down the preamp gain, you can get some classic rock tones. If you start to dime it, you get a lot of gain. This amp sounds very aggressive, very heavy. You can get anything from, you know, hard rock stuff to heavy metal, especially if you start using uh, boost pedals or an overdrive like an SD-1 or a tube screamer. This amp can really scream. And then you have two inputs, high and low. High has a lot more gain than the lower input and low, it's almost like a clean channel-ish, but it also has a lot less volume and gain. The amp, as you can see, is in pristine condition and it sounds fantastic. The guitar we'll be using for this demo is this Gibson Custom Shop 1957 reissue, Gold Top Les Paul. And this thing is just a monster. This is a Murphy Lab model. So as you can see, it has this beautiful light H here. And it's also a dark back, which is not that usual for a Gold Top. And in my opinion, it's one of the best uh, you know, finish combinations for a Les Paul. It just looks stunning. It also plays really, really well, and it sounds huge. Uh, so let's go ahead and play these two so you guys can hear how they sound together.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. To find out more about this gear, the links will be down below in the description. You can also check us out on our website, walgrisvintage.com. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. For more content like this, follow us on Instagram at walgrisvintage. My name is Sebastian. Till next time.